Hey, I'm Declan McKenna and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Declan McKenna. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me. It's okay. I want to kick things off by diving right into what do you think about the card? Congrats on the release of this record. Thank you. I know you've been sitting on it for quite some time. Yeah. So it's the relief right there now that it's out there for everybody. Yeah, definitely. It's nice. You know, I've been sitting on songs for a long time since uh, some of them since I was like 16, which is like over two years ago now. So, um, yeah, very excited to just have music out there for the world and have people be able to know all of the songs that I'm playing at shows and just stuff like that. It's really nice. I personally really love the story behind the title of this record yeah. because that video you posted, the home video of your sister asking, what do you think about the car? And you're kind of like, I'm about to go write an album now. <laughs> it's just a really great video. So how did you come across that? Did someone show it to you? Or did you um, I, th I think I've kind of already always known about its existence. You know, um, it's kind of like a lot of home videos, you know, we kind of joke about in my family. But I think it was like three years ago, on my dad's 60th birthday. Um, my sister made a compilation of like home videos and that was one of them. And that kind of like rejigged it in my mind, I think. And then a, like a couple months before sort of finishing off the album, I don't know why, but I, I just kind of was thinking about it. I think I like came and saw the video again, the little thing that she made and um yeah it just felt like an obvious album to, like for first out it's like my first reference to having an album aged four so like i don't know i think at the like after that bit that's in the in the album um i go on to like start singing a busted song or something like that and it's just it's just kind of cute and yeah fit it in with everything to do with the album so yeah and you have been writing since you were about six-ish. So what were you writing about back then? Back then? Um, I've been, I don't know. I've been write, writing for as long as I can remember, really. Like, I think a, a lot of it was kind of, you know, fake deep, six, seven-year-old stuff. I don't know. It's, it's all a bit fake deep, but, you know, I was trying. And I think a lot of it's just mimicking, you know, artists that you like to start out with because that's how you kind of learn your own identity. You can't really, like, start from scratch. So I think starting from such a young age kind of helped me develop my songwriting because I was just imitating as you do when you're young and you imitate people you look up to, you imitate the music and that's what I was doing and I don't know, it kind of helped me learn. There's a song on the record, probably my favourite one taken from the album called Humongous, which you mm. performed today, it sounds yes, lovely. Yes, thank you. I really relate to the songs. I feel like a lot of people do kind of go through the motions of questioning in a way self-worth and kind of where am I in life? So what, yeah. what started that for you? What was the... Uh, I think it was the just because I was kind of at the back end of like writing my album I uh, began I don't know kind of looking at things in hindsight it, it just everything that kind of happened because it'd been like a crazy two years and I hadn't really thought about it much you know um, and yeah it just kind of got to a point where I started like I don't know becoming a little bit more self-aware and like aware of like what I actually wanted to do rather than just kind of doing it because it was fun which I, I still do but I think um yeah, I got to a point where I was like, wow, I keep like reading stuff about myself that other people have written without meeting me or knowing who I am. And I, I, I don't know, I just kind of started like appreciating my own opinions more and kind of realizing that I was just wasn't making art for acceptance, you know. And I think that's humongous is kind of an affirmation of that. And it's, it's quite nice, as, as well as about a bunch of other things. But that was like the main theme of it. Something I've noticed that you have a huge obsession and that might be an understatement, but with ABBA. I love ABBA. <laughs> I was literally playing it in the cab here. Are you on the way down? Yeah, oh, I was playing The Visitors. Perfect. My favorite ABBA album. When did that begin for you? Because you're always bringing them up. I've always loved ABBA. Like, I think it's just because recently, like, not even for the majority of the al ri al album writing, but like recently I've just become obsessed with them. Like, I think writing the last two tracks that I wrote, Make Me Your Queen and Humongous, are both like heavily ABBA influenced. And I've just like. I think I've always loved ABBA like I've always loved their hits but I was just like I've never listened to a full ABBA album and I'd listened to The Visitors which is their last album and it's my favourite I've listened to a couple of them now um, I just hooked you I just like I was like how? why does no one ever rave about this stuff like people <laughs> always talk about the singles like that, that album is like one of the best albums from the 80s it's so good and it's their last album which is sad they should have done more but at the end of the day if that's all they were ready to make as ABBA I'm happy because there's loads there's loads of good stuff there and they're just fantastic it's pop in the best way <laughs> would you say you have any other obsessions I've noticed a lot of glitter but any brands any other bands uh, yeah I, I love David Bowie um, I've always sort of been into it. his 
everything music and stuff i you know and the beatles and stuff. i love nina simone she's a, a favorite of mine jeff buckley i have a lot of like kind of obsessions i'm not like a fan person like i don't like collect like different stuff and like you know go through the motions of like being a fan but i definitely heavily appreciate a lot of a lot of different artists well, I have two recent tweets from you that I'd just like to hear a little bit more about. Oh, no. The first one being, retweet if you a tomato. I have no idea what could have sparked that. Uh, uh, I think I think I might have been, like, sunburnt or something. I oh, There was yeah. a reason for me tweeting RT if you're a tomato. <laughs> but, it yeah, I, um, I, I actually don't know. There was something, like... That, that sparked that and I just didn't give any context to it and now I can't really remember what it you was. You know, a lot of people were tomatoes that day. A lot of people. That was, that's got like one and a half thousand retweets. We got one and a half thousand tomatoes on our Somewhere hands. Somewhere out there. Somewhere in the, in the Declan McKenna fan niche there is a further niche of tomatoes or tomatoes. <laughs> the other one that I have from you was the Weather Channel at 2 a.m. in America is oh, the only good TV. I find only infomercials and weather is on at that late at night. Um, well, I was, I, because I basically, <laughs> I went out to get some, like, pizza after our show in Columbus, Ohio, and I was sharing a room with Gabby, my drummer, uh, but she, she, she didn't come out, she went to bed, and I basically got back to the room at, like, 1, 2 a.m., um, and the Weather Channel was on, and it was a show about f- fracking causing earthquakes okay. in Oklahoma and it was just exactly what I needed at that time I was just a bit like what is going on um, and it's the by, uh, easily the best TV that I've seen whilst being in North America okay I love how that's what it came to it's I, I fracking causing earthquakes is a very big problem <laughs> <laughs> let's wrap things up is there anything you would like to leave with your fans viewing because you have such an awesome fan base the, um, I would like to leave with the message of watch the weather the channel stay in school get good grades or don't so i didn't <laughs> just do what you want beautifully put that's that's how you that's how you do it thank you so much for joining me <laughs> no problem and remember to everyone viewing you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more we'll see ya see ya